Hey, super scientists, it's just Miss Doan here. We're going on an adventure to gather our materials for our experiment with uh, making a root root viewer. So I'm gonna grab myself an old CD case that I'm not using anymore. Question is, oh, this will be a good one. So I'm gonna grab that. Oh, I accidentally let my cat in the guest bedroom, and I didn't want to do that. Oops. So I got that. Now I'm gonna go outside and get my seats because I forgot them in the car. Went and picked them up. So I didn't have any radish seeds. So I did one of those online things. It's a beautiful day. Need to go have lunch outside. I have a bunch of stuff in my car right now for Mr. Doan's birthday surprise, so shh, don't tell him. Got my seeds. This porgy here to, uh, you know, what do I do? I don't know if you can see her. She is at the front greeting me every time I walk out of the house. She's always there when I get back inside. What do y'all think of my new bow? It has lobsters on it. I don't know. I just thought it was cute and it was on clearance. All right, I need, there it is, paper towels. All right, all right, all right. So, actually, since I have everything I need already, might as well just, uh, you know, Oh, I need a Sharpie, too. Change things up. Instead of doing a video in my office, I can do one down here. There you go. Got a Sharpie. So with this, I'm, this is going to have to be like a two-part video. I'm going to have to use my little crab salt, pepper, and shaker to hold my phone and I am going to do my experiment now. So I have this CD case that I'm not using anymore. Bon Jovi. Yes. I'm pretty sure almost all of y'all don't know who Bon Jovi is, but really great artist. I have to listen to that CD later. Okay, so I emptied it out because the main thing is that you need to be able to see through this. And now I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm going to start with one of these little pieces. And then I could always add more. Because I was thinking, I was like, hmm, I might want to, like, 
make it long or make it thicker so it can hold um, water, hold water longer because you know and now fold it in half see how well it fits here close that because hmm. I also need to still put in the seeds and it's got to close with the seeds in it so I got my radish seeds did Walmart pick up get these still kind of weird not going into like the store to do your you know grocery shopping about just ordering it online and I'm not used to it still even though it's been like a month of doing that <laughs> I don't know but so I'm gonna get my five seeds that's what the instructions called for Ooh, I got more than five Oh, these are a lot smaller than I thought. Okay, that's not a problem. No biggie. Put that away. So, four, two. This is how it go. So actually, I almost need to do another layer. So that way the seeds stay firmly in place. Taking another one, folding it. Gonna close it, and then I'm just gonna rip off the excess. I don't think you have to. I am because I, I don't know. It just bug, bugs me having overlap. And that's pretty, that's good enough. So that's what it looks like now. Now I'm going to go. Um, to the sink, and wet the paper towels. Mm -hmm. the water everywhere, but it's okay. It'll absorb, or actually evaporate. Not absorb. Anyway, so I just placed the wet paper towels down and now I'm going to put my five seeds this, there. Okay, so I put one there, 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 and one in the middle. So it kind of looks like a little dice or die. That's what it. And then I'm going to close that up mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry guys I am clearly not a professional at this just a teacher not just but you know what I mean alright so this looks like that and it needs to be able to stand up, so kind of wish I had used a thicker. That's fine. It's no big deal. So now I am going to draw an arrow.
pointing up. So it's like this. And now I'm going to go over and um, the best sunlight comes from that window that Porgy and Noodles like to um, sit outside from. And I'm going to tape it up so that way I can get plenty of sunlight. So follow me to open the window. See my backyard. There we go. And actually I'm going to open that a little bit more. So I want to put this kind of high up so that way Porgy and Noodles won't mess with it. Because, you know, cats and their curiosity. This handy dandy electrical tape that my husband brings home all the time. It's okay. Because now I get to use it for other projects. <laughs> any kind of I'm pretty sure yeah no it's not gonna oh I have some kitchen scissors I forgot about that so tape cut some tape Just for safe safety, make sure that uh, it really sticks on that window. Now, if I had like painter's tape, I think that would actually work well too, and it wouldn't be as tricky to deal with. But I don't have painter's tape right now. Let's see, oh, there's Porgy sitting in her window. She likes to go bird watching. We don't really have squirrels here. A lot of birds though. So now I'm just taking this and I'm taping one side and another. I don't want to cover up the arrow and I don't want to cover up the seeds. So I do it like this. Also, I've got to be able to take this down and um, re-wet it as necessary and now I'm going to go stick it on the window So here it is in the window, and in about three, three or four days, I'm going to turn it to where the arrow, instead of it pointing up, it's going to point um, to the right, and I'm going to just see what happens to the roots, because by then the roots should have started growing and see if changing the direction um, affects that. That is my central question is that will roots adapt um, based on environmental factors? So in the environmental factor I'm testing is direction in this case. That's a neat project. You can do at home if you have these supplies. Um, and yeah, until next time, so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again, I said, or yeah, until we meet again, I said so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye 
for now. Until we meet again. Yep, ba da ba ba ba. Corey says bye too. <laughs> bye.